Hello, and today, basically we're going to be jumping on a bandwagon, which is this new tier list thing, which is essentially just popped up overnight from my knowledge. Anyways, I got like four videos based off of this in the last 24 hours, so that's already, I guess, a significant number, so. This is kind of bandwagon hopping on, as I just said, but, I don't know. This is something that I was actually kind of interested in, like, I, was, I saw one or two pop up on Twitter feed, and I was like, hmm. Maybe I should do this with my own, like, videos or something, which is what I'm doing today. And seeing as I don't want to really upload any mashups this week, or any just videos, period, because I have the, if you saw the community tab announcement, I basically have an entire week of double uploads planned. I don't want to really upload anything then, just to keep the, the hype that doesn't exist existing. So I figured, you know what? Let's go through and rate the 25 most viewed videos on my channel <laughs> on the tier from S to F, which would be S, A, B, C, D, E, F. So I made this on the uh, tier list website. I can drop a link in the description to, I guess, the format that I was using. If anyone wants to make a list of their own, go ahead. Can't wait to see the one person that does everything is F. But anyways, I guess... I'll start off with the first one in order, Labyrinth and Bendy and the Egg Machine Mash Remix. So where where would I place this one? So it's I don't know, cause this one I was actually like really happy with how this one turned out, cause I know it was one of the first ones that I'd actually managed to do decent vocal switching between Labyrinth and the Bendy and the Egg Machine Remix. So. But it is kind of older, so it isn't as good, I don't think. I think I've improved since a year ago. I hope I've improved since a year ago. But since it is kind of, I don't know, one of my more favorite matchups, I'll probably put it under B, just because... For Bendy, no. Just because... It still sounds good to this day, I think. I got started into it, it was still pretty good, and it was kind of important in the steps of matchups on this channel, so... I'll just place it there for now. Um... Basics in Lasagna Blue. I'm just gonna immediately throw that into A, just because that that video is w probably one of my favorites that I have done. Like, period. It's I think probably like 25th on the list because I don't know how high it got ranked, but the video itself is like like all of these pretty much just the thumbnail for the entire three minutes, whatever. But the matchup itself, like, I feel like it was important, like, kind of to me, because that's kind of when I first started really getting into the PewDiePie vs. T-Series war, which basically became, like, a joke between me and my real-life community for the longest time, just, oh, he's obsessed with watching the sub gap, he's obsessed with defeating T-Series, etc., and I don't know, that whole joke kind of continued on for a while, and that matchup was released, I believe, the 2nd of December, which I believe was the day that around the time that Markiplier and Logan Paul did their announcements like joining in the campaign to keep him number one which the campaign has ended now so he seems like over a million ahead and PewDiePie declared the meme to be over on the 20th of April but I don't know this the video is still important to me I've, in fact I believe the matchup is still pretty good in itself like despite the fact it has no vocal switching because it didn't know there was an instrumental out but I don't know I still like that one then I guess the next one I'll just pull out a random one Build our machine, but the lyrics are confusing. <laughs> God. I don't know how I came to make this video. I think it was me and a friend, uh, Dr. Mom, I don't know if you know even what he goes by on the online anymore, but we were just kind of joking, like, he had the, he was playing Build the Machine, and like singing the normal lyrics and then I jump in because I'd been doing matchups for quite a while back then basically I knew where the lyrics would jump in at certain points so it's so basically it'd be like they sent you a letter to come back home to play your space this isn't your day for the heavy fun time has begun to fade nod your head to the beat of death and draw your last to turn west so I just try to throw in the lyrics I'd switch it up on him I'd confuse him every couple of seconds and he'd just get annoyed at me so then he was like why don't you make that into an actual video why don't you so I did, and now it's so highly viewed, and I still get a comment on it occasionally. But and I think I'm gonna rate it as like B, just because 
I'm not really happy with the video itself. Like I, the video like starts off with like the screen because I used a like a karaoke video <laughs> of building the machine because I w didn't want to be bothered to just sync up every single animation so I just used the original. So I might like delete that one and re-upload it with like like actual jumping lyrics in the animation. So I might update that, but. I think it's a B, just because I don't think it's the greatest video, but I don't think it's the worst. Hell, I may even improve eventually. Next up, um... LAP Maker featuring Green Mumbo AFK DK64 Remix. I'm just gonna rank that to S, just because I really, really enjoyed making that video. Like, I don't know, I've been... For a while, I was looking at those... DK64 like sentence mixing and I'd kind of been like oh I want to do so a little bit of sentence mixing eventually because I don't know doing stuff with the DK rap was something that me and my friends had been memeing a lot for the time because I don't know he's the first member of the DK crew that kind of stuck in our heads for some reason and we all started memeing the, kind of the coconut gun bigger faster stronger that that meme so <clears throat> eventually I got the idea to because I, I wanted to do like a short song and make it like with the DK rap, I decided to use Mumbo AFK because I was like thinking, oh, make a Kremlin cry out for Mummy. You could take Mum from Mummy, put that with some other part, some other part where it makes a bow sound. So it would be Mumbo, Jumbo, U, R, A, F, K. You could even take K from the little DK part. So, but yeah, like that video was really interesting to me because like, I remember it was like about just the start of the school year or something. I was watching it, like I was listening through to it again on my phone for the sake of like listening to how the audio on the phone compared to the audio on headphones through the computer. So I was listening to it and like right at that point, I got a notification from YouTube because on that day, LEP Maker had actually shared it in a community tab post or something. And he left a comment on it. And I was like getting a whole bunch of comment comments on like oh they like the same amount of time. Similar story with uh, basics behavior, and I'll look into that later, but I don't know, it was really interesting because it was like, I don't know, listen, just hearing the fact that the person that I, just, I guess you could say I remixed was now like listening to what I was, listened to what I had made, which was really cool. And in fact, like if you join LAB Maker's Discord server at this current moment in time, I actually have a heart roll, which I'm pretty sure is because of that meme so i don't know i i enjoyed making that meme and, but yeah I, I might do it again like i've had the idea to make uh like like there's like two other there's like two or three other songs which i've considered turning into with the dk rap those being i think it was build the machine be lasagna and one of la's other things i think it was either the 2019 mashup, which would just be ironic, but considering it'd be a mashup between the DK rap and a mashup of all a bunch of other songs, or it would be DK rap and I think it was either a Cactus String Sand or Pickles on the Sea or something like that. But I might, but I might do more DK rap in the future because it was something I actually did quite enjoy. So next video. Um, you signed a contract and build the machine. I'm gonna put this under C, just for the sake of... It's significant to the history of the channel, but it isn't a very good video, I don't think, anyways, in my opinion. Like, I, it was when I first started out making mashups, but it was kind of the first one where I experimented with the alternating vocals. Well, not really alternate. Actually, yeah, it was kind of the first one where I tried to do alternating vocals. But it was the first one where I like attempted to do multiple vocals at once because in this one I had um, the choruses kind of go over each other where like I had the where the chorus of you sign a contract from start I would put in hey I am alive or whatever from build the machine. So I guess like it kind of started my experimentation with alternating lyrics. In fact, yeah. I'll put this one up as well. I made another version with with um, alternating vocals where I actually went through and tried. Like it was bef like Labyrinth and 
bathroom remix is when I perfected it. Like, this is when I was kind of experimenting, tempering with it the first time. Like, if you go back through and listen to it, you can hear that kind of like a... Like, where the beats don't align properly, like... Because I was using an acapella of Build a Machine and the actual audio of you signed the contract, so it just didn't line up that great. So, and plus I had the volume of the instrumental and the volume of actual vocals going on at the same time. Like, currently, like, if I have, if I don't have an acapella readily available for the song, i.e. Build the Machine is a good example, I basically just take the instrumental, mute it, and then turn the volume up on the part with the vocals so that it doesn't interfere and make like a weird a weird noise with the beats or something so i don't know just this one is an interesting one to me so i'm just gonna rate it as a c because it isn't my best mashup but it does hold some significance and good memory uh fnaf one song and crawling it's i'll also put that under c just because like just for the sake of it sounds good as well like, it was also kind of when I was first figuring out alternating vocals, because one another proof of concept is when it went to the instrumental break in Crawling, you would hear Five Nights at Freddy Goose, whatever. So, again, like, it holds some significance. It's still, still, like, that one I like more than You Signed the Contract, Build the Machine. I do like that one a lot more, but... I do like crawling FNAF one more than we signed a contract build the machine, but it still isn't as good as the other th four above it. Next, I guess my ordinary life in Epot. I'm just gonna. I think. Hmm. I think yeah, A is where I'm gonna put this one because like this was kind of what I had it really figured out. I had knit, put the nail in the coffin. I was like, yes, this is how I alternate vocals and things. And I had the idea in the back of, in the back of my head for a while, and I was like, okay, let's throw this together because I heard different versions of it, and just kind of just the way that it flows, it just works well. I believe it's the third most viewed video on my channel. I believe like behind, it's behind uh, like it or not basics and behavior, but I believe it's ahead of the other two parts of the game within house. But that match, like, it blew up way further than I expected, and it still gets some comments to this day, like, and I love reading through just to hear seeing people say, like, oh yeah, I like how these songs actually kind of connect, because Epoch is like, the bear's sad, he's going, he's he has regrets, and then Ordinary Life is like, oh, I'm the lying character doesn't, just doesn't regret anything, he just goes through with his life, he doesn't, doesn't give a damn, you know? Just, that's kind of the attitude you get in... Between those two songs, it's kind of interesting because it con how it contrasts, I guess, is what Ionis likes to think. And I, I kind of agree with it, too. Just, mm. And plus, I do think it still sounds pretty good. I like how I, rather than just putting the instrumental break of Epoch twice, I went through and did Take it back to the start with Stay still, eyes closed, that part. So, I don't know. I feel like it works better than some of the others I've heard, but I don't think it's my greatest matchup. I don't think it beats... Like, I think it beats Basics and Lasagna, but I don't think it beats, um, uh, Mumbo AFK DK64. Okay, so what else? Um, I Can't Fix You, Gospel of Dismay. I, I'm gonna put that in D, cause, eh, <laughs> I'm not really proud of it. Oh, dropped something, dropped something. I'm not really proud of it, but I don't, like, despise it. Like, C is, like, yeah, yeah, I did make those, yeah. Like, D is, like, eh. But I think, like, some, like, I might come back and redo it, like, hell, maybe even with, I don't know, the Myatris remix and, with, like, the Myatris remix of, um, Gospel of Dismay and TG5's remix of, of I Can't Fix You, make a red-blue scenario, redo both of them. Redo and create both of them. But it's one that I kind of like, kind of don't. But, eh. That's kind of that. So now, okay, Build the Machine and Brothers in Arms. I'm also, yeah, I'm also going to leave that as D, but it beats 
But it, I think this one beats I Can't Fix You Guys With Me. Because this one was interesting. Because like when it first came out, I, was, I always thought, hey, everyone's going to put this build a machine. So I decided to kind of put my input. I made my own Builder Machine Brothers in Arms. And I do believe my version 2 is a lot better than my version 1. But the version 1 is still like unique in the fact that it actually uses like a swing... <laughs> A swing edited version of the build a machine instrumental like i don't know it's interesting like basic on both parts the end kind of suck but on that one like i don't know, i feel like my other one is way better so i don't really like that one as much now that i know that i can do way way better so there is next up i guess let's just do a minecraft one then so how to build popular memos, crafting dead base, probably part one of two, I believe it was. I'm going to drop that under E, just because I, like, I kind of hate those videos at this point, like the tutorials, because, like, that one isn't as bad as some of the others I've done, like, that one I could still say, yeah, I did do it, but it's really, really bad, but... Eh. Like, if I could redo videos today and still, I don't know, still get, like, an audience reaction from it, like, that one would... If I re-uploaded that today, everyone would be like, why is this? Like, because of today's, like, Adventure Series standards. But, like, for the time, I think it was okay, but looking at it, reflecting on it now, it's not really that great. I just don't like the quality or, like, the quality is still bad, like... There's a few videos which I wish were higher were higher up on the viewed list. I'll discuss those later on, like, when I'm done ranking all of them. But that video, like, I still somewhat enjoy it. I think it's followable. Like, I don't know how followable it is because, I mean, I was the one building it. Like, I'd have to ask a friend to follow my tutorial and build it just to see, like, if it's actually an acceptable tutorial or not to see if I'm actually good at this. But, eh. So, next up, I guess, I Can't Fix You, Bendy and the Ick Machine Remix Smash-Up. I'm also going to put that under D, but I'm going to put it ahead of I Can't Fix You, Gospel Dismay. Actually, no, I'm going to put Gospel Dismay ahead. Just because, okay, D, like, this one is one that I did make that I did kind of enjoy. Because, like, looking back on it today, like, some certain parts do still sound decent to me. Like... This is before I really knew how to work with I Can't Fix You. Like, I kind of figured out I Can't Fix You when it was Christmas of 2017, I believe it was. Jeez, jeez, have I really been doing matches for a year? I don't like that. I I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes I regret switching over the channel theme from Adventure Series to entirely mashups, and then if I try to do Adventure Series, no one cares. Sometimes I regret that, but, I mean, I've kind of gotten involved in a newer community, and plus... Eh. Some of the videos weren't that great, but anyways, I can't fix you bathroom remix. Like that one was parts of it did sound good, but overall not the best. Not the best. Like I'd say, yeah, I made it, but I do dislike it. Like eh. If I had, if I was to, if I were to show someone an example of a mashup I'd done, I would not show that one. That would not be on the top of my list. Anyways, next up um, build our machine and labyrinth. I I think yeah I'm gonna throw this up to B just because I really really like how that one turned out. That one like it still sounds good like to this day I believe. But basically, kind of the story behind that one is just I threw together build the machine and labyrinth and it sounded pretty good. Like I don't know I've made some decent decisions on how to manage it like this was back before I think this was like after Labyrinth and Batum Remix I think it, might, it was either like before or after but I don't know I still think this one is really good like I can't really think of like many reasons describing why I don't have like a whole like story behind it but this one I still really enjoy listening to I, I even just go back and listen to it sometimes but eh I guess next up let's just go through and knock out the big one the Gaming with Jen's House one. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to put these all to F, honestly. Just, I can't stand 
listening to myself in that video, like, the main 100k view video, I wish, I really genuinely wish, it wasn't my most viewed video. <laughs> I wish that on went to basic behavior or not, or something else. But, just that video, looking back at it, is so bad. Like, I've seen people, like, t commenting on, like, I can't follow this, this guy is annoying, this is the only tutorial that exists, so I'm gonna use it, but you suck. And, I don't know, at the time, like, it was when I was first kind of figuring out YouTube, I guess you could say, because, like, it was before I properly knew how to, I guess, act, because I didn't expect this video to blow up, like, <sighs> just some parts of it haunt me, like, I also get comments on it, like, talking about, like, quit saying FOA, because that's not how it's pronounced, I know it ain't an accent, but at the time, I was, I really watched a lot of It Goes Boom, I think he still uploads, but... I don't know. I have considered going back and remaking that and just covering that one up with a whole bunch of banners just saying, watch the new one, watch the new one, watch the new one, because now I actually have decent editing skills with videos. Good example being, I don't know, there's some basics in, be basics in 2018 or not. I actually really enjoyed making that video. There's a few others that I wish were more higher viewed. I will discuss later, as I said, but... Those videos are just, no, 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 don't. Don't watch them, they're bad. Like, when it comes to old videos, those videos I still get comments on. Like, I don't see any comments on old adventure series. I always see, if it's a comment on a Minecraft video, it's a comment on Gaming with Dance House. That's typically the logic. But, eh, they're sketchier. I don't really like my older videos, honestly. But, that's kind of that. This eventually, I probably, hopefully, maybe, potentially, yes, that's that's very that's very ensuring of me. But eventually, I hopefully will get around to making a better version because I I hate those videos. <laughs> but yeah, next up because I've just covered the big dog. Let's cover up the let's cover the second one, which I'm going to put to S, which is like it or not, basics and behavior blue. And main reason I'm putting this one so high is because I really enjoyed making this one. It's one that was fun to make. I enjoy the fact that lots of people enjoy the matchup. I mean, I'm glad it's really viewed. And it probably, I think, like, if I were to show a person an example of a matchup I've made, it would probably be that one first. Just because I really, really enjoyed making that one. And granted, like... It's probably one of my most, one of my most, if not the most supported video, because, I don't know, like, I've seen, like, two different animatics of it, like, I believe, like, if you counted how many people have viewed uh, that video across, across, um, Starbeam's animatic, the original, and I don't remember the name of their channel, but someone else did an animatic, it would probably be, like, close to three quarters of a million. Which is just insane to me that that many people have seen this mashup. And I'm really, really glad it was that one and not, not like, um, I can't fix you gospel dismay or something. Like, I remember I was just sitting in school, like this was about, I don't know, eight months ago. That same, similar time frame to the other one, um, which is also S, uh, DK64 Mumbo AFK. Like, I was sitting in school, I was sitting in a hallway, like, I was just checking notifications, nothing new was popping up. And then, like, midway through the lunchtime, I just get a couple, like, notifications. Like, I see, like, five comments in a row on, like, they're not basics and behavior. And the video was, like, a month old at the time, I believe. So I was like, huh, that's odd. So I, like, go on Twitter to see if, like, someone's added me in something, or, like, if some big channel shouted out that small mashup and I go to Twitter I see uh, from Cole Huff like at at real below one two three cough cough with a link to the animatic from Starbeam which like I was kind of freaking out internally just because like some huge channel had made something based on like my small base which is like I don't know, 1.1k at the time, and 
like, I'm pretty sure it's, like, larger now, but, like, last I checked, Starbeam's channel was, like, 350k subscribers, which was crazy. They're, like, 300 times larger than I am, and they're making something with something that I made, which, I don't know, I really appreciated the fact that it was being made in general, and that people were going through to watch it, just, and seeing all the support and comments on it. I did, I did actually get some criticism on it, which I am trying to apply to my more recent mashups, like, I know the best example of it is Epoch's Lasagna V1.2. It was like, you shouldn't switch everything so constantly, like, every day I could do a school, one, two, three, so the key is basic math, we don't want you to go. No, that's a bad example. It was like, um, switching every four seconds is kind of what I went with. It was like, um... One, two, three, four, five. You think you could survive? The answer is inside of every page. And I'm here. This is all a lie. And like it or not, it'll never. Is it okay to have a feeling? Like, it jumps too frequently. And people didn't like that. So I am trying to cut down on it. Like, as I said, Epoch on V1.2. I went with, like, half a verse, then half a verse, half a verse, and half a verse. Except, I don't know, that one was kind of weird because <laughs> the status of, a uh, of, a. Uh, B Lasagna V1.2 was more, like, the last half of B Lasagna 1.2 is, like, kind of, like, building up to the kind of bass drop, or the beat drop, whatever it's called. So, I don't know. It's just, I really, really enjoy, like it or not, Basics Behavior. I didn't even know how to name it until Brick's film, Brick Films, which, his channel is also great. If you're subscribed to me and not subscribed to him, go subscribe to him, please. Like, he's doing a whole thing currently, um, Bendy and the Mashup Machine, his newest one, which was Gospel of Dismay, Bendy and the Ink Machine Remix. It's really damn good. Go watch it, it's awesome. He hit 6k recently, so get him to 7k for me, please. But, I don't know, he made his own version, like, he joined the Discord server I link in the description, and he just DM'd me, I was like, hey, can I make a version of this? And I was like, yeah, sure, go ahead. Because it kind of, it's kind of the closest thing I've ever had to a collab with another person in the mashup community, which is, I don't know, kind of nice. I have loads of, like, positive stories surrounding that one, so I'm really, really glad it's highly viewed. I think it's really good, which, I don't know, is a good boost for me, considering something that's so highly seen is something that I actually like from my channel. But anyways, enough of that one. Um, let's jump to another mashup, I guess. Um... Labyrinth and I can't fix you. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that one at, uh, let's yeah, let's put that one at, let's put it at B, yeah, B, because, again, it's, again, similar, similar time frame for, for both Labyrinth Bathroom Remix, Build Our Machine Labyrinth, and Labyrinth I Can't Fix You. There was this was all when I was like, really, hitting it hard to get, the standards of, alternating vocals down. Which, that one, I still consider it to be one of my best mashups, in my opinion, just because, I don't know, just the way that it works, and I have, I have considered doing, like, a full CG5 version, which is just Labyrinth, but I can fix you remix, which eventually may come out. I don't, I have lots of ideas with the I can't fix you remix that I want to come out with later on, but this one I still consider to be probably one of the best mashups I've done, because, like, that one was, like, the absolute final point where I figured out how to work with I Can't Fix You, because the structure in that one, the structure of I Can't Fix You is odd compared to most songs, where you have, like, noticeable, like, verses where you could fit them over top each other, like, you could overfit, um, I don't know, for example, um, you could overfit, I don't know, example, Build the Machine, Gospel Dismay, you could overfit, from they've sent you a letter to we won't be skipped and swayed to you can overfit that with um you join the underground cabaret to or else your life is never born don't worry it's not the music that dies now listen up you can there's like a definable like set of verses with i can't fix you it's like i've been trying for so long seeing the right time shows i'm different every day so you heard what i have to say cut now you're here to stand still and wonder if you feel the kind of pain the rift you're into that's something i know about shocking in it cut then it cuts to a normal sized verse with the chorus it's and it, it's a weird one to work with. So like in that one, it was really really good because I'd figured out how to work with the weird structure of it, added on with 
alternating vocals. So that one was kind of like A. It sounded really good. B. It worked well because it was two. Because it was like a pizza simulator SL. I like those. Those two were probably like I like those two games more than I like the rest, other than FNAF One. Like those two and FNAF One are my favorites. So I don't know the theme of it, the sound of it, like kind of the time of it. I really enjoy that video. So yeah, that's kind of that. Anyways, next up, um, Epot Labyrinth. Again, lots lots of labyrinth in the Build Our Machine is in this one. Epot Labyrinth. That one, I'm going to put at A, just because the creation of that one was also, once again, just really, really fun to make. Because, like, I don't know, I was thinking through it in my head, and... No, just the sound of it was also really good. Also, I really liked the thumbnail, but I don't. That's one of the matchups that's from like a year ago that still I believe holds up to, to this day, and like how good it sounds. So, it's only eleven months old. So, granted, it's probably newer than some of these because I know a year ago can mean like a complete year to a year and eleven months on YouTube. Like they don't do one point five years, one point six years, etc. So. Epoch Labyrinth, I still really like it, so I'm going to put it at A, because it still sounds good to this day, I believe. How to build a big Sum Sum in Minecraft, I'm going to put that at E, just because... As with the MMO's Crafting Dead base, like... I think it's understandable. Okay, I'm going to put it ahead of it in E, just because, like... It's, it's my own creation, like, I didn't use a tutorial to make it, it isn't a replication. But... Also, it's still pretty cringy, because <laughs> it is three years old, so just older videos are going to get the kind of eh, vibe from me, but eh. Okay, last five. Build our machine, my ordinary life. Let's place that at D. I'm also going to place I got no time, my ordinary life at D, just because those two early days not the greatest like I know there's parts where like the beats don't line up exactly in both and I believe in like my ordinary life build the machine it was you could barely hear build our machine at some parts so like I boosted it way up because like this was before I was using it with headphones and headphones are what everyone uses nowadays like those rich people with airpods no but now that I have headphones to do mashups with, I can actually hear it, like, kind of clearly, I guess, but... You know, back then, the the quality of the mashups were really bad, considering I couldn't properly hear as best as I could. And I don't really have, like, good stories behind those, either of those, either, so... I don't know. I guess they're kind of... They're not E or F, just for the sake of... I don't know, it was kind of at the time my channel was reviving itself. I'd been gone for, like, four months straight. And then I feel like I uploaded a video. It didn't get barely anything. I uploaded, you signed a contract, and then you signed a contract building machine and it just, just blew up again. But, eh. I don't know. our machine, I can't fix you. I'm just going to drop at, I guess, a C. Just because, like... I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop it to D, just for the sake of like, it's basically the same story as I can fix you, Gospel just made. It sound some parts of it sound okay, but it's not, it isn't, it's not great at all. Anyways, next up, you signed a contract. I can't fix you. Eh. I'm leaning towards E, honestly. Just I don't like it that much, like. Rather than fully using every single element of I Can't Fix You, it just kind of jumped from the first half to the chorus to the instrumental break to the uh 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 part to the ending, like, snap, and it was way too sped up. It, it goes by way too fast. Like, the pacing is too extreme, so I don't know. I don't really like that one that much. And finally, the last one, I Can't Fix You Basics and Behavior. I'm going to throw this one to, I guess, A, just for the sake of, I really like how that one turned out, but again, this is, actually, no, I'm going to drop it to B, just for the sake of, 
I still really like this one. I really like how it turned out. It was... Like, at this point, I once again, I had kind of mastered I Can't Fix You as I had in Labyrinth, I Can't Fix You. But I'm, I'm dropping it down to a B for the sake of... I didn't know... Not, not that I didn't know, but... There was no proper instrumental behind Basics and Behavior that was released. So I couldn't properly do anything with it yet. Because there was no way I could use an instrumental. But... Otherwise, I do think it sounds good, and I am working on a remix version, which is CG5's remix with Red. So that'll be Red Remastered. I might do Blue Remastered eventually, but I guess this is kind of the top 25 videos on my channel ranked. Which, there are quite a few videos on my channel that I really, really believe should be higher viewed. Because I really, really enjoyed making them. They're... They're way better quality than the rest. Just, there are so many more reasons that I believe that they should be watched than some half of these. I go to the, most of the stuff in my favorite vids, I believe, should be higher viewed. So, the Full Circle Blue, which was a three song between, um, like it or not, Basic Behavior, Dying of Fire. Like that one, I really like. I feel like it should be more viewed. Basics in 2018 or not, I put, like, I. My channel died for an entire month, so I can make that one. And it still hasn't even hit a thousand views, which I'm kind of sad about. Um, like, some of the adventure series that I've done, like... The 2018 special. Uh, the Terraforming Returning, that one. That one, like, um... What else? It was... What was it called? Um... Do I have it in here? It should be in here, right? Um... No? I, should, I need to add it, but there's another one. It was like um, more good, less evil. That one, despite it was an older video, I was actually kind of proud of that one, and I still kind of am today. Also, like things like um, the 500th video. I wish that one had more views. Same with like, uh, granted it's two hours and 15 minutes long, but the 1,000 subscriber video, I worked really hard on that one, and it wasn't nearly as acknowledged as I thought it should be. And the, Stamp the Stampy's Lovely World Renovation House. Like, lots, lots of my favorite videos have been viewed a significant amount, but there's so many more videos that I've made that I feel should be higher up than, I don't know, I Can't Fix You Batum Remix. Like, all of these videos are just, most of these videos are just kind of eh. Like, that's why most of them fall under, like, C. Like, the only ones I, I can really say I really, really enjoy are, like, the S tier, A tier, and B tier on this. But, I don't know, that's just kind of how my opinion works on between my current videos. So, yeah, I guess this is this, is this video. I'll hopefully get a decent... I don't know, we're talking about views, and we're talking about views, and I don't want to be that YouTuber that's always like, I don't get enough views in my videos, so I'm going to start doing clickbait, or, I don't know, whatever the stereotype used to be, or still is, for that matter, but, I don't know. I wish some of my other videos had higher views, <laughs> but, yeah, this has been kind of my ranking of my top 25 videos. I mean, I might escalate it eventually to top 50, maybe even if I'm feeling dumb, top 100 videos but yeah i'll leave a link to the format in the description and yeah this has been this has been me ranking my own videos hooray why is this video 40 minutes <laughs> <laughs>